you've gone in now and you've created a couple different contact types and you've created a deal. But the critical thing about using a CRM is making sure that you keep everything updated. As things move through different stages, as information changes, you need to go in and you need to update that stuff. With HubSpot, it's relatively easy to do. We're going to run through a couple of quick things right now just to give you an idea of how easy that is. For example, we're going to go to the Sally Sample contact. We're going to open that record up. And we have now gone from being a new lead to somebody where we've created a deal. Well, we need to update that so that it moves it in the stage process for reporting. And it also gives you an idea of what you have in various different stages. We're gonna go on to the left-hand side and scroll down till we get to lead status. It's a drop-down, really simple. And we now have created a deal. Anytime it needs to be saved, if it's a field that you change that requires a save, that little orange button will pop up at the bottom. If you didn't mean to do that, you could just hit cancel and walk away, or if you wanted to, you would hit save. And you'll get this little message letting you know that it happened. You can do a lot of other things in here too. You can add a note. If you've written her an email, it'll show up here. If it happened to be written before you logged it, you could actually log the email here and put the information in. If you make a phone call through Cloud Talk, our phone system, that phone call information shows up here. If you create a task, for example, you put in a task to remind you to send her out the video on the site visit, you'd put that here. As a matter of fact, let's do that now. Create the task, send video. In the notes, we're gonna say send site visit video. And we're gonna actually make it a high priority. We're going to actually put in when it's due. We're going to say in three business days because we said to her, we'll send that out prior to going out and you're going out next Wednesday. So that's fine. And you can set it up to have who it's assigned to. In this case, you're assigning it to yourself. If you wanted an email reminder, you could say, oh, please let me know the day before. Click on that. Day before at 8 a.m., you're going to get an email sent to you. And we don't need to actually add it to a queue right now. We're not using that. So it doesn't matter. You could change it, but just leave it at none. Save task. Your task will show up here. And then on that day, you will get an email telling you need to do it. The nice thing is that everything you do in all the other categories, will, even in the deal, will show up on the activity page. So you can quickly scroll down and look through everything that's there. Now, speaking of the deal, we have a site visit scheduled. So we need to go into the deal and update that now. And you can see it also carried over to here that you're going to send a video. It's going to remind you in so many different places, and that's the beauty of the CRM. On the left-hand side, you see phone contacted. You're not going to change that to site visit scheduled. That is a field that you don't need to save. So you didn't see that pop-up coming up on the bottom left-hand side. It'll auto-save it for you. But it now will move it from category one to category two. It moved it from the fact that you had just had phone contact to actually having a site visit set up. We're still not going to put in an amount, a close date, or any of the other information on the left-hand side at this point because those will be added at a later stage, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later. But if we were to go back out to the deal page now, and that is your view of all the deals that you have in the works. In my case, I have everybody's deals because I'm an admin, but the ones that you see here in white are ones that are recently created deals that um, will show up in different stages. You have email contacted, you have phone contacted. We now have site visit scheduled. We see sample Anytown. So that is moved now through the process to here. But you could be building the HCA, HCA review schedule, HCA reviewed, etc. As you make those changes, it moves it in there and you can quickly take a look at your board here and see what you have at any particular time.